Hello, welcome to Hybis News. This is Kangsha Gangapuram, and you're watching National Business News. Mirchi, India's number one city-centric music and entertainment company, launched the second season for the one of its most loved properties, Hasana Zaruri Hai. Through Hasana Zaruri Hai, Mirchi taps the potential of the steadily growing comedy circuit in Hyderabad by providing a platform for people to showcase their talent. Tejo Mai, a mother of a seven years old and a teacher and an attractive member of the local open mic groups, won the ultimate title of Hasna Zaruri Hai Season 2. The winner was presented with an exclusive opportunity to host Mirchi 95's evening radio show for an entire day to make the listeners of the Hyderabad smile. Commenting on this initiative, MN Hussain ENIL Mirchi said, We are delighted to have brought back one of our most loved properties, Hasna Zaruri Hai. Through Hasna Zaruri Hai, we aim to score the new comics in Hyderabad and bringing them together to help them refine their skills and perform for the people of Hyderabad. Kerala Startup Mission Kusum is conducting the fourth edition of Founders Meet, a congregation of startup founders in the state at the B-Hub Mar Inovas College here on 20th of August. The event scheduled to start at 5 p.m. will set the stage for a fresh round of peer learning opportunities, startup talks, mentorship, etc. Entry is restricted to registered participants. For registration, do visit the website. <music> Royal Enfield, the global leader in the mid-size motorcycle segment, launched the new Hunter 350 in Kerala. Engineered and designed for the urban hustle, the new Hunter 350 is a remixed roadster with the character of a Royal Enfield reimagined in a stylish, compact yet muscular geometric and that can tackle crowd city streets, suburban back roads and beyond with a blob. Kerala continues to be one of the key growing markets for the Royal Enfield with a significant consumer base in the roadster segment. Over the last few years, Royal Enfield motorcycles have built a strong riding community in the state and enjoys a substantial market share in the mid-size motorcycle segment. The Hunter 350 will open a new audience for Royal Enfield in the state, the thanks to its functional and simplistic design inquity that refreshingly new but executes old school cool and retains that essential Royal Enfield TNA. BYD India Private Limited, a subsidiary of the world's leading new energy vehicle manufacturer, BYD inaugurates its first dealership showroom of passenger vehicles at Ernakulam. The dealership will be managed by EVM South Coast in Kochi. The showroom was inaugurated by Sabu Johnny, Managing Director of EVM Group in the presence of senior officials of BYD India and EVM South Coast. EVM South Coast will provide consumers in the Kerala market with access to BYD's pure electric vehicles. With considerable experience in the automobile industry, EVM South Coast have extensive reach and covers neighboring regions in the market. Residents of Erakulam will now be able to buy one of the best electric vehicles without leaving their city. Upon his returns to India after the glorious victory at the XSII Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, weightlifter Achinta Sheuli was seen celebrating his win over a bucket of KFC at the restaurant in Park Street. Achinta clinched a converted gold medal for India, setting a Games record of 313 kgs. He lifted 143 kgs in snatch and 170 kgs in clean and jerk winning hearts across the nation. Achinta took his Instagram to share a glimpse of his special celebrations with family and loved ones. Sharing his thoughts, he said, it has have been a moment of absolute joy and pride winning a goal for my country. That one moment defines all the years of hard work and perseverance that I have put in. I am happy to enjoy this day with my brothers and a KFC bucket. NIDA Although the most secular country in the world binds its people by one region, cricket. From reverted nation and international players to play in the streets, it is a dream of millions to hit a six for the national one day. However, many young players find it difficult to enter the sport despite their exceeding talent. The prime reason being a lack of proper guidance and knowledge about the procedure to showcase their performance in the next level. Hence, in an attempt to bring the golden opportunity to every young player, South India Schools Cricket Association SISCA has emerged as a platform to take the talented ones to the next phase and develop their skills to participate in the national level tournaments. Thank you for watching. Signing off, keep watching Hybis News.